they really do get raped. I'm coming out to say it. Because we need to actually address this in our communities. We do. When I say communities, I mean in Africa, like in Nigeria. They need to address it. They don't address enough because women have been raped in that but, country. But, but you see... Seriously. Like, there's a lot. I mean, the banjo one is arguably, like, the, the story don't have up. But, 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 but the, and, the ones that story do have up and no one pays attention to. And, and, but this is the point, and that's what I'm trying to say. And that's what I was saying that, you know, if it's the enforcement of the law, that's the problem. That's where we should be fighting. That's where we should be focused. Right. Now, for, for the bench, for instance, right, 17,000 people have signed a petition to game of the UN, you know, as a youth ambassador for UN, right? That's harsh. I'm going to say this. He hasn't even been... And that's the point I, and that's the point I was trying to... And that's why I said, like, it's very, very dangerous, the part that we're passing on. Like I said that... No, the it's the about, people I, that are listening to this stuff. No, but... No, because, no, 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 you because, don't... No, wait, wait. What you talking about is very serious here. Very, very serious. Somebody <laughs> posts something <laughs> about someone and 71,000 people have no, reacted... 17,000. So 17,000 people have reacted I've signed to a petition, Nina. That is stupid. And and you know the funny thing here? This well, so what, if, what, what if it's not guilty? Well, that, so those 17,000 people are going to go, I'm sorry? Yeah, that's what they're going to do. It happened to, what's her name? Um, Cliff Richards. Nah, that's stupid. When, when they were doing the child um, sex investigation in the UK, right? And the police only called him to talk to him. Like, you know at times they call you, whatever. And the BBC got hint of that, that the police are called him to talk to him. That got leaked. And then because of that same story, you know that like they put it as if he's a child, whatever yeah. it is. He got branded into that and it became a whole big deal. And then it took a while when it was found that it was not even, you know, like yeah, even associated, not even, even guilty, even associated with the whole, it just, you know, at times you might have hung yeah. with that person, blah, blah, kind of thing. And now they just want to, you know, give every track. No, that's what? the, that, that, no, let me tell you something. That All is the public stupidity. Of course. So it's not the person that posted. Yeah, but it's not the person that got accused. It's <laughs> you that digest the information that reacted like that. You've been stupid. Of You've course. been led by a false information you don't have your own cognitive mind working that is not anything to do with those that are involved that's everything to do with you no. i can seventeen thousand people sign a petition to get the band thrown off when they don't even know for a fact then that's what i'm saying and like this is and, stupid but i know what the sad thing is said these same people that signed the thing right if it was their brother if it was their father if it was their their uncles I don't know, I don't know. you know I'm, I'm, I'm trying to make a point they will be like let due what's that thing called um due process of course because they're emotionally let, involved thank you so it's why not, can we afford other no, people the same courtesy it's not no I, I don't i don't care if you did that for a family member and you don't do that for a non-family member the point is the fact that you have no information whatsoever that proves what you're supporting and you're actually supporting that you are a ship that's waiting for a wolf to come and occupy you and, and tear you to pieces. Think. Some of these other people actually had the band. Like, are you kidding me? This guy is just, he left a comment and the comment later on a comment and that's it. So he should lose his whole life? <laughs> wow. So now 45 mil, now they're talking about UN. It will get to the time they'll tell you boycott the band songs. That's what it's going to get to. You, oh, you we watch. live in the day and age of the mute Al Kelly thing where everything just, like, just... Uh. It, listen, the bullying should be very careful not to become the bullied. Oh, sorry. The bullying, the person... No, the person, the bully... What, what am I trying to say? So the person <laughs> that is bullying, that's been bullied, should be very careful not to become the one that's now bullying someone. Because we don't know if the band did it. We don't know if it no, did. No, that's why I said due call. Let due process. We don't know if it did it. And, now, and, and if you're worried, hold on. If you're worried about the due process, and I keep insisting on that, if you're worried that due process won't take place, let's fight the enforcement no, of the but, laws. No, but this, this, this is what I'm saying. Like, now, nah, listen. Hear my point clearly. We don't know if the band did it. We don't know if it did it. Nope. Okay. So we can have our opinion about whether the band might have done it or not. I'm okay with that. But for you to then say he did it and shut down his own life, that is, that's evil. Because you're going based on information you're not sure of. What happened if it was around? Because that's what they did in America with racism. The five guys that you were talk talking about earlier that got arrested for something they didn't do, that's exactly what it was. And I think it was 17 years of their life, right? No, no, how many years of that did they lose? 
those five guys. They lost a lot of life. Oh, yeah. Oh, a lot um, of they, years. Yeah, they lost uh, over two decades. You know? They were in jail for a while. You know? the Central Park Five. Because of what they didn't do. <laughs> I mean, if anything, we should learn from that. Which means take a decision when you are fully informed. So I'm I'm out of this conversation. I'm done. Like it's okay, people. This has been a while a podcast. It's been great. <laughs> because I don't know what to say right now. Because like if you're gonna start making a decision on how a man should be judged based on information you have no idea or full of, boy, judge me then, right? Because I'm just this is my opinion. And my opinion should not affect any man's life from your shape. But if you're gonna say mute me, stop taking take food out of my plate or even break the plate entirely without understanding fully well in your heart to heart that you were right to do that you evil and that's all I'm saying and this concludes this episode thank you so much for joining us this is the Wilder Podcast up until next time see you later